space, the place which holds all the wonder of mankind, because we just can't help ourselves from wondering about space. After all, we have unraveled only 4% of the whole universe we are living in. And one of the people who is doing more than just wondering is Elon Musk. Well, it isn't much of the news that the second richest man in the world is on a mission to change space exploration with his company, SpaceX. And one of the breakthroughs is coming with the development of a spacecraft called the Starship. Many are saying that the Starship could be a game changer for space travel. In this video, we will be seeing how this spacecraft built by SpaceX is very much different than all other spacecraft ever built, of course, in a better way, and how it claims to be an engineering genius. How it all started Before we get into the details of the next generation spacecraft of SpaceX, the Starship, let us have a quick look back into actually why Elon Musk started the journey of making the spaceship. It is not news now that Elon Musk wants to colonize Mars. If you want some more info about Elon's Mars plan, try to have a look at the video suggested at the top right corner of your screen. So, to fulfill that dream of his, the Tesla owner started to work from the beginning of this century. In 2001, Elon Musk tried to get some rockets from the Russians. But as someone new in the industry, Musk found it a bit hard. After some meetings, he got a nod from the Russian ICBM, but they were asking about $21 million for each rocket. This price was seen by Musk as too expensive and Musk left the meeting. While on the return flight, Musk realized that he could start a company that could build the affordable rockets he needed. And that's how he came up with the SpaceX idea and founded the company in 2002. And fast forwarding to 2021, SpaceX had 122 successful launches and has a valuation of about $74 billion. Recently, SpaceX launched astronauts for the first time, and that's a big achievement. After developing the Falcon spaceship lineups, SpaceX is focusing on building its next-gen starships, which could be a game-changer. The Build of Starship Most of the spaceships made are of aluminum, as is a proven, strong, lightweight material for building an airframe like the Shuttle Orbiter. But the thing that drags down its usefulness is its cost. It is really expensive. And as Elon Musk was looking for a less expensive way to manufacture his spaceships, he chose to use different materials instead of aluminum. So, SpaceX is building the Starship using stainless steel. This would be the first time that stainless steel is being used for spacecraft construction since the attempts made during the Atlas program back in the 1950s. A new metal. Although it is not the lightest material, looking at the properties of high quality stainless steel, you wouldn't be able to tell that its strength is boosted by 50% at cryogenic temperatures. Steel also has a high melting point. In fact, it has a melting point that is higher than that of aluminum. For instance, with aluminum or carbon fiber, you can perhaps take it to 300 or 400 Fahrenheit. However, with steel, you can easily manage 1,500 to 1,600 Fahrenheit. So it fabulously falls into the category that is expected from a spaceship, which is the capability of standing freezing and hot temperatures when it ascends and descends into planetary atmospheres multiple times. Reusability Then another aspect that makes the Starship a true pioneer is the reusability. Before SpaceX came into the game, spaceships could be used only once. So reusability is at the heart of making interplanetary travel accessible. SpaceX believes since a majority of the launch cost is attributed to the expense of building a rocket that is ultimately designed to burn up during re-entry. That's why SpaceX also puts its focus on making the rocket parts reusable so it could have an effect on the cost. According to SpaceX, the Starship and Super Heavy launch vehicle is a fully, rapidly reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and anywhere else in the solar system. Fully reusable, Musk explained in the announcement video, is the key to economic viability. The Raptor rockets are all reusable, and that makes the Starship and Super Heavy have a very good environmental impact, which is also one of the aspects Elon Musk is focusing on with Tesla. Cost the most important factor that is achieved by the Starship is the cut-down of cost. 
Here is a comparison given by the SpaceX CEO. Carbon fiber costs $135 per kilogram, and 35% of the stuff must be scrapped. You cut the fabric, and some of it you can't use. So the true cost of the material is nearly $200 per kilogram, compared to just $3 for stainless steel, he added. So what does that mean to the customers who are looking forward to traveling in space? According to Musk, because of the reusability, the Starship will only cost $2 million per flight to operate in space. It would be dramatically cheaper than the $152 million the average NASA space launch costs. Innovative design and better performance Okay, Elon Musk is building a spaceship that will have some good properties as well as it will provide reusability, which will help to bring the overall cost down. It also satisfies from the design and performance perspective. Powered by six Raptor engines and launched atop a Super Heavy booster, the Super Heavy rocket booster alone will support 37 of its own cryogenic fuel-powered Raptor engines, while the Starship payload itself will come equipped with an additional six Raptor engines for thrust beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Starship promises to be the most powerful rocket ever built. At the rear of the 50-meter-long craft are placed and towards the middle of the vehicle are the propellant tanks. These feed liquid methane and liquid oxygen to the Raptors. Potentially, Starship could carry up to 100 passengers or a payload of 150 tons to orbit and ultimately beyond. For extra tall cargo, Starship will also offer the option of an extended payload volume for payloads requiring up to 22 meters of height, an option that should increase the spacecraft's versatility. For long-haul trips to Mars and back, which could take up to nine months each way, Musk is looking to install around 40 cabins in the payload area near the front of the upper stage. The Starship spacecraft is expected to enter Mars' atmosphere at a speed of 7.5 kilometers per second and will be designed to withstand multiple entries. Future Plans In 2020, SpaceX achieved a milestone of launching astronauts into space, and after that, instead of having a celebratory time, SpaceX is accelerating progress on its next-generation Starship rocket. SpaceX is planning its first cargo mission to the Red Planet by 2022, and by 2024, the company wants to fly four ships, including two cargo and two crewed ones, to Mars. And without any doubt, Starship will play a crucial role in those missions. That's all for now. I hope you've learned all about SpaceX's one-of-a-kind next-generation spacecraft, the Starship. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on notifications so you're up to date on the channel's updates. See you in the next video.